Well, Walmart customers who bought certain <coughs> weighted groceries or bagged fruit may be eligible for a part of a $45 million settlement. You guys are going to like this one. Walmart might owe you money. Thanks to you guys and a $45 million class action lawsuit. And also, I've been warning you guys about great value products, right, from Walmart. Well, they just re did a huge recall. Great value products sold in 30 states and online. Good information you guys probably want to know about coming right up. My name is Cohen here at Riverside Homestead, and if you're brand new here, welcome. If you guys are into prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and most of all, news and awareness, stuff that you want to know about, be sure to hit that notification bell so you guys can stay up to date. Let's jump into this one. More craziness going on with the super gigantic big box conglomerate monstrosity of monopoly out there, which I'm sure most of us hate. Now we all can agree that there's a very small percentage that has actually gotten away from Walmart and big box and actually switched over to supporting family owned farmers markets, mom and pop shops. It's what we all need to do to make a change because here on this Yahoo Finance headline from F and W, Walmart may owe you money thanks to a $45 million class action lawsuit. And this just came out in the beginning of April here in 2024. So the question is, you might want to know how much you can get or just be entertained by Walmart getting dinged by 45 mil. And again, right after that, I'm going to show you guys a great value product that has been sold in 30 states plus sold online you guys probably want to know about and if you're brand new here what we do is promote an all-american non-toxic supporting family-owned company if you'd like to switch away from these big huge conglomerate monopolies that support things that you guys don't agree with be sure to check out that link that's in the pinned comment down in the description as well for a free tour of a better option article reads fyi walmart may owe you money in february walmart agreed to settle a class action lawsuit filed in Florida that allegedly the chain had charged customers more than it should have for weighted goods. I've done videos on this before, right? They're always cheating you in one way or another, right? That's including packed poultry, pork, and seafood, and bagged citrus items, including oranges, tangerines, and grapefruits between October 19th of 2018 all the way to January 19th of 2024. Folks, they agreed to a settlement. Isn't that just mean that it happened? So that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of us, we try our hardest not to shop at all Walmart or Big Box or any of the big monopoly places out there, right? But sometimes it's inevitable. Sometimes we're traveling. Sometimes we need electronics and that's about one of the only places that sells electronics and you know where they come from. So as a general rule of thumb, a lot of us have still been supporting Walmart. The fact of the matter is, is they might owe you money. In total, Walmart will pay out $45 million as part of the settlement, as part, and you may be eligible for a piece of that pie. They took the words right out of my mouth. So real quick, memory jogger, have you bought since 2019 to January of this year, have you bought anything that was weighted? Fruits, vegetables, meat, citrus. Bet you the majority of y'all have. Cha-ching! According to Fast Company, anyone who purchased weighted goods or bagged citrus at Walmart store between the dates above is eligible for part of the settlement. As far as how much you'll get, it's totally depending on how many weighted goods and bags of citrus you bought. And if you still have the receipts, oh, did you guys save the receipts? Don't worry. Even if you don't have the receipts, you can attest to the fact that you did purchase the good. For example, if you attest to buying up to 50 items, you'll net you $10. I think they meant they. If you attest to purchasing between 51 and 75 items, you'll get $15. If you attest to purchasing up to 100 items, you'll get $20. You can attest to buying more than 101 items, which will get you back 25 bucks. There's more, but remember, if you don't have receipts and you can't prove that you bought it, at least go get your 25 bucks. With how crazy food inflation is today and how it's projected to continually go up, like I've told you, you guys need that 25 bucks and not Walmart. Walmart don't need your money. So let's say you do have your receipts. So let's say you do have proof or you got your receipts. You can 
receive 2% of the total cost of the substantial weight goods and bagged citrus purchase. According to the settlement that they agreed to, the maximum payout customers are eligible for is 500 bucks. Look folks, we're talking about 2018 all the way to 2024. I'm sure a lot of you guys could get that full 500 bucks. Put it on your notes to take care of this. Don't let these crooks get your money. They already get enough of our money and support things that we don't agree with. Aside from the fact that they put a bunch of garbage in their stuff that we consume. Now, before we get to the recalled great value items, let's check out this clip real quick. 30 second clip and wrap this one up. Well, Walmart customers who bought certain weighted <coughs> groceries or bagged fruit may be eligible for a part of a $45 million settlement. The class action lawsuit claimed Walmart overcharged customers who purchased groceries sold by weight, customers who bought eligible sold by weight groceries between October 19th, 2018 and January 19th, 2024 qualify for this settlement. That's a long span of time, folks, so it might be one of you. Walmart shoppers have until June 5th to submit a claim to be included. Which can be done right here. I'll leave a link to, to this article down in the description right below our link to supporting family owned, non-toxic and an American made stuff in which you should be switching away from Walmart in these places, but be sure to check that out. Write down the date, June 5th, 2024. On there is also a mail-in form. Some customers also receive an email with a noticed ID and a confirmation code which they can enter into the site. However, if you did not get a notice, that's okay too. You can still use the same website to submit a claim. The, the website has detailed list of the weighted items eligible for the claim. So you can click down there to get each item. It's worth getting your refund from these guys. Also note that one important caveat is there is a final approval hearing on the settlement on June 12th of 2024, which is coming up. And guess what? These guys always pay their settlements or should I say fold under the pressure because of the fault at hand. Also another thing to remember that there could be some appeals which could prolong some things, but stick to it, stick it to these guys. Also it says if there's no appeal, the settlement benefit will be processed promptly. More on Walmart, great value products recalled in 30 states, including online. Look folks, a lot of people get busy. We got busy lifestyles, we got a lot of things to do, but when it comes to even getting 25 bucks out of this place, it was your money anybody out there feeling like tipping walmart 25 bucks to 500 bucks no so if that's you make sure you get your money out of that moving right along now we're going to talk about recalls a recall this one right here from the healthy walmart just recalled a great value product sold in 30 states and online looking into it there's actually a couple more i really need to tell you about because i'm worried that a lot of you guys have these products sitting in your fridge so the first one an alert reveals the recall was initiated after a customer discovered an issue that could affect consumers with two health conditions they say if you're a fan of sweet and salty snacks check your pantry for a product that has been recalled on march 13th of 2024 the food and drug administration fda announced the recall of a popular product sold on walmart locations in 30 states and walmart.com the recall affects great value honey roasted cashews so the big thing is is presence of coconut in the product and further investigation revealed that the coconut cashews were mistakenly packaged into certain honey roasted cashew containers, which means the coconut cashews contain undeclared milk. Both coconut and milk are major allergens for some individuals, which means could be life-threatening. That's a big deal because that's a real thing. So this right here is Channel 4 New York, Walmart cashew sold in 30 states, the same stuff. But this right here shows a picture of it. Now look guys, honey roasted cashews. This is something that quite a few people buy. And when it comes down to allergens and getting coconut and milk products and something that does not state it, like I said, life-threatening to some people. A couple other ones that are just, I scrolled down, I'm like, oh, well, you probably need to know about this. Shredded cheese recall over listeria concerns in 15 states affect food maker Sargento. And this is also a big, huge recall alert. No Sargento branded cheese products sold in retail markets are affected. Sargento artesian cheeses. 
shredded cheese guys i know a lot of people buy shredded cheese because it's just one less thing you got to do people are busy i understand even though you should be buying from the farmer shredding your own cheese da, 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 da. a lot of people still need to get this so again this service groups in 15 states over concerns that the cheese could be contaminated with listeria according to the information posted on the food and drug administration website the sargento specific recall affects thousands of various cheeses so there's more than just that distributed to arizona california Florida, Georgia, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, North Carolina, New Jersey, Nevada, Ohio, Rhode Island, Texas, Washington, and Wisconsin. I know you guys' next question, it's when was this stuff put out? The most heavily affected items were white cheddar cheese products with 2,633 cases being recalled already. These had best buy dates between March and June of 2024. Food recall, guys, who stays up on this stuff? I seriously could probably make a list and give you guys a new list every single week. Dangers of shopping at big box. Last one for today, also. Recent, March 3rd, Trader Joe's chicken soup dumplings recalled for possibly containing permanent marker plastic. Look, I know a lot of you guys like Trader Joe's because they got some decent stuff, but a lot of people think that they're going there and doing better than some of the other stores. Truth to be told is you still have to do your research at, at Trader Joe's. The, that's the hands down truth. There's nothing near the same as going to farmer's markets or very small mom and pop shops that are family owned. But I do say that oftentimes Trader Joe's is better than say Walmart. But in this case, more than 61 1,000 pounds of steamed chicken soup dumplings sold at Trader Joe's are being recalled for possibly containing hard plastic. U.S. regulatory announced Saturday. So that's right, guys. It's saying may be contained with foreign materials, specifically hard plastic from permanent marker pen. Don't suppose you all want to be eating permanent marker pen. <laughs> it kind of makes me wonder, does somebody take a box of Sharpies and just dump it into this huge machine that made it for, that made 61,000? thousand pounds like i mean come on so the fsis urged consumers to check their freezers the six ounce trader joe's steamed chicken soup dumplings under recall were produced on december 7th of 2023 and can be identified by their side box label with a lot code and it's listed i'll put this down there as well actually we'll just show you right here on the screen so pause it rewind it make sure you write that down if that's something that you guys picked up gotta be on your guard these days whether it's walmart ripping you off or you being on your toes about something that's gonna possibly fatal because of what it contains all because there was a recall that you didn't know about as always if you guys find value hit the thumbs up button share this out because i'm sure a lot more people need to know about this other than you and I need all the help that I can get sharing it out. Again, when it comes to your household consumer goods and you guys wanna switch away from all the garbage, American made, non-toxic, supporting family owned debt free company go to the link right down here in the description it'll also be pinned in the comment and if you guys want to see a video they probably don't want you to see watch this one right up here